Still continuing with the Justice for Uwa protest held in Benin, we are joined by, um, from Akwaibom, we are joined by Barrister Abbas Idion. Good morning, Barrister Idion. First off, uh, of what impact are these protests in the quest for justice? Well, uh, first of all, my, my deepest sympathies are with the family of uh, Bera Waila Mozua who have lost a very important member of that family. Um, it's always good to see um, interest by the public in crimes such as, uh, such as this, and especially in violent crimes uh, like rape and murder and what have you. Um, it's doubtful if that would have any impact on our criminal justice system, because as you well know, the criminal justice system is pretty set out in a structured uh, form. There has to be investigation by the police, um, and, that, that, and then that has to go to the uh, prosecution, which is the Ministry of Justice, and then before it can be recommended for prosecution in court. So it's, uh, it's important that society is sufficiently outraged about this violent crime. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure it will have such an impact on the prosecution process, especially as the police are yet to conclude investigations as we speak. It's really worrying to hear that. Anyways, now with the COVID-19 pandemic in mind, how will this case be prosecuted? Uh, you know, will the virtual courts being used be adequate? You know, we're, uncharted, we're in uncharted territory at the moment with regards to uh, COVID-19 and technology and the legal system in the country. Um, there's so much of our laws that do not accept virtual sitting because uh, in court, uh, the trial judge has to take into account the demeanor of the witnesses to arrive at the conclusion of uh, guilt or otherwise. So in this particular instance, um, I don't think a virtual court uh, proceeding would be ideal. And I don't think it will result in a, a sustained conviction, if any, at all. The, the Inspector General, Mohamed Adamu, has deployed more investigative and forensic support you know, to the Edo State Police Command to unravel the death of Uwa. Is this response engineered by the media coverage and protests, in your opinion, and how will this help out, really? Uh, to be honest, I think it's a bit cosmetic. Uh, it has been driven by the media frenzy over the, the, the death of this young lady and um, deploying uh, extra personnel to the scene of the incident is just to assuage the, uh, the public you know, view that uh, the police isn't doing anything about it. The police is quite limited in terms of uh, the kind of technology they can deploy. So it remains to be seen how effective uh, an additional uh, deployment of personnel will be in resolving this gruesome murder. Mm -hmm. And to lead me to my next question, to help those protesting not to sabotage their own advocacy, what would stand as prejudice in this matter? Well, I, I, would, I would be extremely cautious if I were, you know, uh, part of the uh, people organizing the protest because, um, you know, it's always good to allow the system, you know, in, do the investigation and allow the system work. There's a proverb that says, once you put a pot of boiling water on fire, you must be patient enough to let the water boil. They have ticked off a chain of uh, events, and I think they've done their bits, and what's left now is for the authorities to investigate and put this case uh, to a, a justifiable conclusion. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is one of the cases that you say will put our justice system to test. Uh, if we, if should they not get answers? Uh, what do you think? How do you think Nigerians will respond to issues like this? Should they not get answers? Well, Nigerians have a, a very uh, short memory, unfortunately, because we have had several cases of this nature that have been unresolved, and um, the police still claim that investigations are going on. But I sincerely hope 
for the sake of everyone and for the sake of justice and the rule of law in our society that this case is resolved and um, the uh, killers are brought to book and made to pay heavily for this crime. Mm. Still aware of processes and protocols, you know, that follows in issues like this. Is there any situation where such cases, are, you know, are given speedy consideration? Um, yes, the uh, Criminal Justice Act of Nigeria has specifically uh, has a specific specific focus on uh, crimes. And it uh, tries to ensure that uh, the dispensation of justice is a, a lot quicker. So I think that if you know the suspects are tried under the Criminal of Justice Act, uh, the, the justice can be obtained in a, a shorter period of time. But um, I wouldn't ask anybody to cross his fingers and wait for that to happen. All right, thank you so very much, Barista Abbas Idiong, for your time and stay safe out there too. Thank you.